flavored versus unflavored protein. Which do you choose? Hi, I'm Maya Valenti with Naked Nutrition, a private chef and nutrition coach here to discuss all things health and wellness. As you look through the incredible selection of protein powders on the market, one of the many factors that you're going to have to consider is flavor. Protein powders can be designed to taste like strawberries or cheesecake, festive flavors. I mean, the sky is the limit. You can even pick up an unflavored protein powder too. But why would anybody want a flavorless protein powder? Are there any advantages to either flavored or unflavored protein powders? And most importantly, which would you choose? Convenience is a primary reason for choosing a flavored protein powder. If you like the idea of coming home from the gym and quickly mixing together a great tasting shake with minimal effort, flavored protein powder is your best bet. With unflavored protein powders, it's not that easy because the protein powder doesn't have any built-in flavor and you have to essentially start from scratch. This may take some advanced planning to make sure that you have the necessary ingredients on hand. With unflavored protein powder, you will also likely have to spend more time preparing the shake, especially if you have to blend the ingredients together. Flavored protein powder tastes like, well, what it tastes like. If you purchase a chocolate powder, for example, you're locked into that flavor. Unflavored protein powder, however, doesn't have these limitations. The powder becomes nothing but a nutrient-rich blank slate that you can build all sorts of other flavor combinations on top of. Do you like adding strawberries and bananas one day, but spinach and blueberries the next? Go for it. Using unflavored protein powder means that you have to make every shake completely different and you'll never get bored with the options. And you're never stuck with that shake that isn't exactly what you're in the mood for. This versatility is especially useful if you wanna use your protein powder for cooking. Unflavored powders can be used to thicken soups and sauces without having a strong impact on flavor, while also delivering a boost of protein to your dish. You can also use unflavored protein powders to boost the protein content of hot drinks, like coffee, of course. Some flavors will work there too, but unflavored protein will leave your coffee just as you like it, just boost with it. Unflavored plant proteins are particularly well suited for baking and cooking because they tend to retain moisture better than whey or casein, allowing you to create nutrient-rich, delicious recipes. Plant-based proteins also tend to be higher in healthy fats and lower in saturated fats and higher in fiber than their animal-based counterparts. It's also important to remember that in order to achieve that dizzying array of flavors, manufacturers often resort to unsavory techniques. Generally, this involves the use of artificial flavoring that can have a host of negative side effects. Some protein powders are even colored artificially. I mean, if it's not pink, it's not strawberry, right? According to watchdog organization Eat Well Group, EWG, and Food and Drug Administration, FDA, does not monitor and therefore does not test any flavoring for safety. Considering the widespread use of artificial flavoring additives, this is a major concern. Many flavored protein powders can also contain artificial sweeteners. And this may or may not be something that you choose to typically include in your diet. Even when the flavors come from natural sources, they may be derived from things that you'd rather not ingest, like ground up beetles. Yuck. Of course, this isn't always the case, but wouldn't you rather be rest assured that there's nothing at all sketchy lurking in your protein powder? For example, Naked Nutrition offers a line of flavored protein powders that use only natural organic ingredients. In the end, the choice is yours. If you're incredibly busy and you don't have time to worry about things such as additives, artificial flavorings, and you'd like your shake to always taste like a chocolate peanut butter cup or strawberries, then go for the flavored version. If you like the aspect of control in both your flavor and choice of ingredients found in your protein powder, then the unflavored version is probably going to be more useful for you. For more information on our array of protein options, check us out at nakednutrition.com. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as we have new videos every week Focus on different health and wellness topics because here at Naked Nutrition, we're nutrition with nothing to hide.